Humans have always looked up into the night sky and dreamed about space. But only in the last 100 years have we developed the needed technology to take a rocket off from the Earth's surface. It all started back in 1930s and 1940s, when Germans developed the V-2 rocket. When Germany lost the war, teams from the Allied forces, the United States, the United Kingdom and the Soviet Union rushed to capture key German manufacturing sites and technology. Shortly after that, the Cold War began. The USA and Soviet Union were competing with each other. Beginning in the late 1950s, space would become another important arena for this competition as each side sought to prove the superiority of its technology. The competition luckily led to a lot of achievements in the field of space exploration, and in this video, we will cover the most important dates. 4th October 1957, the world's first artificial satellite. The Sputnik 1 satellite was launched by the USSR on the 4th of October 1957. It was the first artificial Earth satellite. It was a 58 centimeter polished metal sphere with a mass of 83.6 kilograms. Most of its mass came from its batteries. It had four external radio antennas to broadcast radio pulses. Its radio signal was easily detectable even by radio amateurs. The satellite traveled at about 29,000 kilometers per hour. That's 8,100 meters per second, taking 96.2 minutes to complete each orbit. It transmitted on two frequencies, which were monitored by radio operators around the world. The signal continued for 21 days until the transmitter batteries ran out on the 26th of October, 1957. Sputnik burned up on the 4th of January, 1958, while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. After three months, 1,440 completed orbits of the Earth and a distance traveled of about 70 million kilometers. 18th of March, 1965 first ever spacewalk. In March 1965, Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov made the first spacewalk. He stepped outside of the tiny Voskhod 2 capsule and floated in space for 12 minutes and 9 seconds. Leonov's mission was simple. He had to attach a camera to the airlock, document the spacewalk with another camera in his check, and survive. However, when he tried to get back in, things started to get very complicated making the project nearly a disaster. His spacesuit had bloated in the vacuum and was too large to re-enter the tiny capsule. He had to open a valve to slowly release oxygen and as the pressure inside the spacesuit started to drop, it started to get smaller. He kept the valve open until it was enough to get back in the capsule. 20th of July, 1969. First man on the moon. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. On July 20th, 1969, Commander Neil Armstrong and Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin, both American, landed the Apollo Lunar Module on the surface of the moon. The landing procedure of the Lunar Module was not easy. Neil Armstrong had to turn on the semi-automatic control because the landing site was rockier than expected. Six hours after landing, Neil Armstrong became the first man to set foot on the moon. That moment was broadcast on live TV to a worldwide audience. As he put his foot down, he famously declared, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In total, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin spent 21 hours on the surface of the moon and the mission lasted 8 days, 3 hours, 18 minutes, and 35 seconds. One of the most astonishing facts has to do with the number of resources needed to make this possible. At its peak, the Apollo program employed 400,000 people and required the support of over 20,000 industrial firms and universities. 20th of November, 1988. Assembly of the International Space Station begins. The ISS is the most expensive object ever built. The cost of the ISS has been estimated to be around $120 billion. Because it is so large and it could not be sent into space with a single mission, it had to be constructed with modules and it took 10 years and more than 30 missions to assemble. The ISS is one of the largest satellites ever built by humans. Its mass is around 400,000 kilograms, 
and it is slightly larger than a football field. It has solar panels to produce electrical power. In total, its solar panels produce around 84 kilowatts of energy. That is enough to power around 200 typical American houses. The ISS maintains an orbit with an average altitude of 400 kilometers. At that height, the gravity is 90% as strong as the Earth's surface. But objects in orbit are in a continuous state of freefall, resulting in an apparent state of weightlessness. The ISS serves as a microgravity and space environment research laboratory, in which crew members conduct experiments in biology, human biology, physics, astronomy, meteorology, and other fields.